I even live in the church because my dad is pastor, so I live in the church. But I have no relationship with, with Jesus. I, I go to church only because I can play music and make a friend, have fun, but no relationship with God. But fortunately, uh, so around 10 years ago, as a pastor encouraged me to go on a short mission trip. It was 2011. That's a huge tsunami hit Japan. You guys still remember that? A lot of people died. And, and, and I still remember when I was there, I, I had never seen anything like it in my life. Whole towns were completely destroyed. The smell of death was in the air. It's so terrible. Many of the uh, survivors were older people who had lost their family. So, so one of our jobs is we need to go uh, find a picture uh, from those destroyed houses. You know, because the older people, they don't have social media, they don't have cell phone, they, they, they don't have their family picture. So we need to go find a picture from them. But you know, whenever they receive a picture, they will cry and cry and cry and cry in front of you. So I start, um, I kind of drop into the big sorrow with those people. You know, when you're in that situation, everyone is so sad. And I don't know how to say the word to encourage them. I don't know how to do encourage them. So I feel hopeless. I don't know what should I do. But there was a one group of people. They seemed to know what they were doing. Even in the sentence, they would still have joy. That's where the missionary leading our team. They love the Japanese people so much, and it was a love reaction. It's something I want to share to you today. Is love is something you can see, you know. So I start thinking maybe, maybe God is real. Maybe love is real. Maybe the story I was heard before is real. Over the next few years, God continued to change my my life, my heart through a tangible music trip. I saw the way that God truly loved people, and I know I want to be like that too. Now, 10 years later, I've become a missionary myself and want to spend my life sharing uh, gospel to my own people. Not only sharing gospel, I want to encourage. Even right now, we not only receive gospel, we stand, we have to go, we have to go on a mission, join a mission. So, um, I'm sure to you today. When we worship uh, like that, we say, God, we love you. Yes, we love you.